And yeah, the company supported by Thai Boston. Yeah, coming all the way from Boston, uh, trying to syndicate a deal that uh, is led by Thai Boston. So thank you for having me uh, on the West Coast. So I'm Brian Nolan. I'm the founder and CEO uh, of My Biometry. So this is Christy. Christy is our director of quality. She has two beautiful little girls, and they both have asthma. This is really a horrifying disease, because most of the time they feel fine, but it deteriorates very rapidly, and then they have an asthma attack. And when that happens, they're basically suffocating. And as a parent, watching your child struggle to breathe is probably the worst thing that you can ever experience. And as a patient, I can assure you, it's not fun either. Um, patients and parents are living in constant fear that this could happen at any point in time. We're in the business of preventing it. We do it with a disposable sensor and connected device. This is a diagnostic, it's a breath test. The data gives you an early warning sign of deteriorating asthma up to 20 days in advance, and that data is actionable, and I'll take you through this, so patients can use it to proactively intervene. This is a massive problem. 339 million patients globally, 62% are uncontrolled. That means 210 million patients are at risk for having an asthma attack at any point in time. The savings in the US from preventing this and improving asthma control is $4,700 per patient per year. Patients who have uncontrolled asthma think about their as asthma every single day. And when their symptoms become bothersome, they panic. So this isn't just a physical problem for patients, it's also a mental one. This is how we manage asthma today. 68% of patients prefer to self-adjust their medications based on how they feel. And what they feel are their symptoms and their lung function. And unfortunately, we're still tracking this on paper for the most part. There's a problem with this approach. The problem is that by the time you feel it, it's too late. Symptoms in peak flow change two to three days before you have an asthma attack, but the medications that you're supposed to be taking take one to two weeks to have a full therapeutic effect. So even if you're tracking yourself very closely, you don't necessarily identify the problem early enough that the interventions can have an impact. Our solution is, is based around a guideline-based biomarker. So the biomarker is nitric oxide, part of the US and the global asthma guidelines. We have a very unique technology to measure this. The innovation here is really the sensor chemistry and the manufacturing process. So we make these sensors like glucose test strips. So high volume, low cost, single use disposable sensors. It pairs with a very simple device and that enables us to track this biomarker of inflammation daily at home. The reason that matters is it starts to change up to 20 days before a patient even has symptoms. And again, that data is actionable. So the data on the left, this is from an AstraZeneca phase two study. A doubling of the biomarker in that 20-day window corresponds to a 287% increased risk. And it's actionable. Patients can self-adjust their anti-inflammatory medications and reduce this risk. And you can see that on the right. The important part is the x-axis, time, right? You pick it up 20 days in advance, seven to 14 days to get the medication to work. We can warn people when they should be taking their medication well in advance. We've got 12 issued patents. Um, we're protecting this technology very aggressively. Those patents give us a couple big advantages. So the first one is it's more accurate and higher risk patients. So you can see our clinical data there on the right. Anything over 50 is a high risk. It's easier to use. Our competitors, believe it or not, require a patient without asthma to blow into the device every single day to baseline the sensor. We eliminate that because we throw away the sensor every day. Faster sample to result. It takes less time to actually do the test. And most important, our cost of goods is about 22x lower than the competitor. So that gives us flexibility on pricing and it gives us flexibility on business model. <clears throat> Beyond the diagnostic data, we're wrapping an entire digital solution around this. So the diagnostic data identifies somebody at risk. The digital solution helps them figure out what should they do about it. So we've got algorithms that help identify patients' triggers. So we're tracking your geolocation, we're tracking the biomarker. Think of this, like if we understand there's a trigger in the forecast on Friday, we'll warn you on Monday to start taking your medication. We'll tell you seven days in advance what you should be doing about it. We have a partnership with the American Lung Association. So this is an exclusive partnership where we're taking their evidence-based asthma management programs, digitizing them, gamifying them, and putting them in the app. We also have uh, our partnership with them extends to the care team. So they've got a team of certified asthma educators that, that run a lung helpline available via chatbot in the app. We've got a first mover advantage in a very large home market. Uh, our customer here is the payer. 
So we sell directly to the payer. It becomes an, a covered benefit for anybody who's got asthma. We bill on a monthly basis for anybody that's enrolled in the program. We're getting ready to do our first pilot later this year. It's a $360,000 paid pilot with Point 0.32 Health. That's roughly a 2 million member regional health plan in the New England area. If we're able to be successful in that pilot, it's about a $5 million obtainable ARR within that particular customer. Partnership, or the pilot also includes the American Lung Association partnership. Uh, this market already has reimbursement in place, so there's CPT codes that we can bill for in this market, and we're the only company that can do that profitably under the existing reimbursement structure for this. Uh, and again, we protected this by about 12 patents. The savings opportunity for the payer, $4,700, that's a 6x ROI for them. Over the next year and a half, we're focused on evidence generation. So we've got one pilot ready, we've got a couple more in the pipeline. So stacking pilots on top of each other to generate appropriate evidence. We need to use that to leverage channel partners. Channel partners are med tech companies, pharma companies, insurance and, and pharmacies. We're talking to most of the, the people on the left there. We've got NDAs in place with a couple of them. Once we get uh, channel partners, we need to get to about 57,000 patients. It's about 0.4% penetration. It gives us a 50 million ARR business. Our team is amazing. So we've got a well-balanced team of sales and marketing folks, but also product development experts. Um, one person on our team actually invented what is now Abbott Diabetes business. He did all the core technology behind it. Um, the products that we've built generate billions of dollars in sales for major Fortune 500 medical technology companies. We're backed by an uh, advisory board and board of directors that is equally impressive. Our clinical advisors, these are global thought leaders in respiratory disease. The research that they've done on the biomarker we're using and other biomarkers as well have led to changes in how asthma is managed, literally changes in the asthma guidelines. They're involved in every pharmaceutical trial that you could possibly think of as well. So in quick summary, so it's a massive unmet need. We've de-risked the business. We've got a strong IP position. Uh, acquisitions in our market are going at about 15x our current valuation, and the major milestone that we have to hit is 510k clearance. So it's a clear valuation inflection point. Again, we're syndicating the deal, 3.5 million raised. We've got about 2 million left. Uh, strong, the 1.5 is from existing investors, so we've got Thai Sidecar Angels, Boston Harbor Angels, and some MedTech executives. Milestones, finish development, submit the 510K, pilot with the insurance company. We've got a data room and diligence report available for anybody interested.